Okay, so what I did was I just Googled DP900 exam guide, and so I made it to the Microsoft site. If you scroll on down, you're looking for that skills measure, download that PDF, open it up, and we'll be over here. Now, it's very common to see this red text here. Azure loves to update their exams. Even once a month, they'll do this to me. And people ask me, are your exams out to date? I'm like, no, they're just making my minute changes. If they do make major changes, what they'll do is actually release a new version. They'll call it the DP901. That's when you should be concerned about uh, changes. Uh, but uh, yeah, they do it frequently. So what you'll do is if you get, if you see red text, you gotta scroll down to the real section because this is the old one. And this is the new one where they make minor changes, okay? And what we'll do is work our way down here and, and take a look here. So describe core data concepts. So batch and streaming, relational data. We have data analytics concepts. So uh, visualizations, BI, types of bar, like types of charts. They're talking specifically about Power BI because there's a lot of different kinds of visualizations. Describe analytic techniques. So descriptive, diagnostic, uh, predictive, prescription, cognitive. Most places don't describe cognitive, so they add that additional one there. ELT and ETL. So um, uh, extract. Uh, ELT is more common for clouds. So that's the one you really want to understand. Describe concepts of data processing onto how to work with relational data. So describe what a relational workload is. Describe the structures within a database. If you've ever worked with any kind of database, you already know them. Tables, indexes, views, columns, etc. cetera. Uh, we have describe relational data services. So they do PAS, IAS, and SAS. They're specifically talking about uh, in that comparison, you'll see that like in the AZ900, uh, those three, though I think they might have removed them as of recent, but um, they're specifically talking about the Azure SQL family. So down below here, you have Azure SQL and underneath it has a bunch of uh, variants. So like SQL database, SQL managed instance and virtual machines. And these sit in the PAS and IAS and you have to know that, okay? Describe Azure Synapse Analytics. Describe database for Postgres, Maria, MySQL. That's the open source SQL databases. Uh, so then we have relational data. So uh, provisioning deployment of relational data. Deployment with the portal, Azure resource templates, PowerShell, CLI. You know what? I don't ever see these on the exam, you know? Um, but, um, you know, they, they have this in here, okay? Uh, identify security components. Now they say firewall. They're actually talking about when you have a database because there's actually Azure firewall, but then there's um, a, a, a server firewall built into Azure SQL. And that's what they're talking about there. Authentication, like how to connect because there's a few different ways you can do that. Connectivity from on-prem to Azure, VNets, et cetera. Identity query tools. So Azure Data Studio, SQL Studio Management, SQL, uh, SQL CMD. Uh, utilities and things like that. Describe query techniques for using uh, SQL. So compare DDLs with DMLs. There's actually a lot more types of um, uh, data language uh, files for SQL. So we do them all just because it's, you know, it's the proper way to do it, but they only care about these two. Query relational data in SQL database, uh, Azure Des Postgres, Azure database for MySQL. We'll go on down to this section here, non-relational data workloads. So describe the non-relational data, describe non-relational and NoSQL data, recommend correct data store, determine when to use non-relational data. And they're all talking about, because um, like non-relational data is mostly Cosmo DB. Cosmo DB like has a bunch of different SQL engines there. So that's going to help you understand that like graph and document a key value store, things like that. Describe non-relational data. So we have table, blob, files, Cosmo DB. Identify basic management uh, tasks for non-relational data. So provisioning deployment of non-relational data services. Describe method of deployment in uh, Azure portal, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I don't see these a lot on the exam, so I don't know why this is in here. Um, identify data security components. Um, so it's the same thing as before. It's just for non-relational data. Basic connectivity issues, VNets, et cetera. Identify management tools for non-relational data. Um, Describe analytical workloads, so transactional data, the difference between transactional and analytical, and we're talking about OLAP and OLTP, okay? Difference between batch and real-time uh, warehouses, data warehouse solutions. Describe uh, modern data warehouses, so here we're talking about Databricks, Hadoop systems, uh, Synapse is kind of like a data lake house, and then actually Azure Data Lake and its storage medium. Down below we have data ingestion, so loading data, Azure Data Factory, um, HD Insights, Databricks, et cetera. And then down with, below, we have a whole section on Power BI. What I'm surprised is that they don't have much like on Azure um, Streaming Analytics and Event Hub because a lot of these have to consume from there. So that's something I think that should be on the exam, but they don't have it in here. But yeah, it's, uh, it's not a super hard exam. It's mostly just describe, describe, identify, see? So you're all gonna be in great shape and I hope that helps you out. And we're on to the actual course now.